Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to get on here and just give some positive words of encouragement to anyone who may need it right now to let you know that God is so good. Always trust and believe. No matter what you're going through, no matter how many distractions you may have, <laughs> because when you do the will of God, trust me, you're gonna come across so much, so many distractions. You see that light coming through? That's that Holy Spirit, y'all. I was led to give this message. I was led and you have to do what you're told to do. But I just wanna encourage y'all, you know, this journey is not easy. It's not easy, but it's well worth it, you know? God is doing some amazing things, amazing. And I'm just truly, truly thankful and grateful that no matter what, he stuck beside me, no matter what I was going through. And trust me, you know, people look at me and they think, oh, you know, she looks so nice. She has herself together. She looks beautiful on the outside, but you don't know what Katrina has been going through on the inside, y'all. I make a conscious effort every day to get up to you know, make self-care a priority, to get myself together, to make sure I look nice, to make sure I look presentable when I walk out, even though I might not be feeling like that on the inside. I trust God. I trust him through everything. Jesus is the light of the world, you know? And we all go through, you know, things in life. You know, I've been homeless several times before, you know? Coming out of my 10 year, 10 year relationship with my children's father, I didn't know, you know, where I was gonna go, what I was gonna do, or how I was gonna be, how life was gonna be for me, you know? Walking away with four children and your faith, you know, a lot of people think that, that, that you're crazy, you know? But you have to trust that. Do the right thing. Lead with integrity. You know? It matters what you do behind the scenes. Even if no one's watching. God is always watching. He knows. He knows your heart. He knows what you're doing. So even though you may think, you know, you can do things behind closed doors and get away with it, you're still going to be judged. You're still going to receive the karma from those actions, from whatever you're doing. So just lead with integrity and none of us are perfect. Nobody's perfect, you know? But do things with integrity. Do things, you know, the right way. But I just wanted to tell y'all, God is so good, you know? I have a lot of layers to me and I've been quiet for a long time due to a lot of things that have happened to me in my life, you know? I remember being bold. I be remember being outspoken as a child and not in a bad way, you know? And, you know, once people realized that in my life, they tried to do things to me as a child to shut me up so I wouldn't, be, so I wouldn't speak, you know? Like being molested as a child. Nobody wants to be molested as a child. Nobody wants to talk about those things, but they happen. And they happen to a lot of us. And a lot of us have been told to be quiet or we'll get in trouble, you know? But you have to speak your truth, you know? And it may hurt people, but we were hurt too. We were innocent in this. What did we do? We didn't ask for it. We didn't ask to be abandoned by our parents. We didn't ask to be put on the back burner, you know? We didn't ask for any of those things, but yet they happened to us. They did. 
And a lot of times, you know, things will happen in your life to make you stronger, to show you people and how people are and how they can be. And that everyone is not trustworthy, but God is trustworthy, you know? We all have our own paths in life. And, you know, I don't know where mine is leading me to, but, you know, people who have known me, they know that I've always been a kind person. They know that I've always done things to help other people, whether it was doing people's hair for free. Ever since I was a little girl, I've done over 200, 300 heads since I was a little girl, you know? Just doing hair, just because I liked it, I wanted to see people smile, you know? Things of that nature, like, you know, it just feels good when you can do something for somebody else and you don't have to receive a payment from it, you know? You're not looking for anything in return. But, you know, a lot has gone on in my life. A lot has gone on and I don't want anyone to feel like, you know, I don't care or I don't love them because I do. It's just that, you know, when you go through a lot and you have a lot on your plate, like me coming out of that relationship four years ago, you know, I didn't know what to think, how to think, who to trust, you know? So I had to go through a lot. I had to. Things had to break me down to, you know, show me who has been there the whole time. And who will always be there for me and never leave. I can remember being in the shelter in Georgia last year. And right before that, I was staying at a hotel at the Motel 6 with me and my kids. Just trying to make it. I had saved up all my money and savings. Had been paying for the room every single day paying for my kids needs and wants all on my own no child support no help you know and I remember getting down to my last dime like lord I don't know what to do I don't know what to do what am I supposed to do it's just me it's all my kids I don't have support for my family the support that I should have and I'm like, what am I going to do? I started crying. I was praying. My kids, I didn't want my kids to see me through that because I'm always the strong one. I'm the one that everybody always comes to, you know? And it's like, I felt like I didn't have that around me. But God has earth angels around that are here to help and assist us. And I can remember my kids, like I didn't ask them. They were just like, mom, we gotta do something. I don't care, mom, we gotta go out on the street and beg for money, like, we'll do that. And I'm like, no, don't do that. I didn't know what the kids did. I was in the room, they went outside. Next thing you know, they came back with a bucket full of money. And I'm like, what in the world did y'all do? Where did you get this from? They said, mom, we had to find a way We gotta help you, mom. You know, you can't do this on your own and you shouldn't have to. So they went out to the gas station and they started asking, they just had a bucket out there. People just started giving them money to help out, to pay for the room for another night. And I'm like, what? And as they walked in, an organization called The Table in Marietta, Georgia, there's women out there that stand out on the corner and they give, you know, um, they give out free lunches a uh, few times a week to the homeless. They'd stand out there and they, they saw us. They knew, you know, that we were new in the area. They always saw us. They always saw how encouraging I was and how I always did everything for my kids. They always saw me out there doing everything for my kids and they helped in any way they could. They came through saying they had um, a place for us if we needed it. Like at the same time, blessings just started pouring in. And it, you know, and sometimes it takes a child to leave. And they're like, mom, you know, I don't wanna see you crying. I don't wanna see you sad. We shouldn't have to go through this. We can't even ask our dad without him giving, yelling at us, you know? 
And it's just sad, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm past it, but I get emotional because I think about, you know, it could have been so much better. And I understand, you know, why he acted the way he did because, you know, he really didn't want to see me go. He didn't want the relationship to be over. But sometimes people don't understand that everything is not meant to last forever. And we're all in different places in our lives. And I wanted to grow and expand, but he didn't want to change. And I shouldn't have to stay in that, you know? And we tried 10 years. 10 years is a long time to endure, you know? There was a lot going on behind the scenes. It wasn't all bad. Of course it was good times. But I couldn't deal with the relapsing and drug abuse and drinking all day, every day, you know, several packs of cigarettes, money coming up, missing for the rent because you relapsed on drugs, you know? It's a lot I didn't talk about. It's a lot I endured. Ten toes down. You know, and he would always say, well, this is how it was when you met me. And I took that. I didn't have my father in my life, stable in my life to show me, you know, how a man should treat a woman. You know, what I should accept. So I accepted a lot. I endured a lot. You know, and nobody's perfect. You know, I smoked weed too. You know what I mean? And it helped me with my anxiety. It helped me to calm down. You know what I mean? So nobody's perfect. And nobody's saying that, you know, if you smoke weed, you're a bad person. It's a plant from the earth. You know? But people want to do say all kind of things to you to make you feel like a bad person, to make you feel inferior, to make you feel like you're not good enough. And you are. We are all good enough. We are. But you have to work on it. You have to work on yourself. Self-care is important. That's what they should be teaching in school. You want to learn about reading, writing, and arithmetic? How about we start off with self-love and pre-K and Head Start? And that should be a part of the curriculum. Because if you can't love yourself right, how are you going to love somebody else right? People want to judge you based on the color of your skin, if you're gay, if you're straight. God loves us all. He loves us all. Who are you to judge somebody else? I don't care what status you have, what title you have. You want to talk about Jesus' love, you know, what would Jesus do? Some of the things that y'all doing, Jesus definitely does not do or would not do. So all I'm saying is just be a good person. Lead with integrity, respect, integrity your character, honor people, you know, love one people. It's not always going to be good days. It's not going to always be bad days, but trust and believe if God brought you to it, he will see you through it. I've been in shelter several times from Georgia to Virginia, living in hotels. I'm about to go into a hotel again because I know that if God brings me to it, he'll see me through it. You don't know my living situation, you know? Yes, I have a mother. Yes, I have family. But our relationship has been estranged. It's very bad. And I'm keeping it real. And I love her. But the things that she's doing is not right. I just needed to come out here and breathe and vent and let y'all know to trust God in all that you do, all that you do. Greatness is here. Great things are happening. Keep those positive affirmations around you. Get around people who are who are doing the things that you want to do in a healthy manner. You can't follow everybody, but you have to go through trial and error, you know? Even though somebody says, oh, well, don't do that because that happened to me. You, We all have to go through things. That's what life is about. How can we, we have to experience it. If we don't experience it, how will we know? We all have our own testimony, you know? And no matter what you did, you can, you know, come back from certain things. But you have to do the work. You can't expect everybody to do it for you, you know? 
but I just wanted to get on here and just, you know, encourage somebody. It's early in the morning. Well, it's afternoon now, but <laughs> I'm just enjoying me. I'm enjoying the water. I'm getting grounded, staying grounded, connecting with the Lord, connecting with nature, connecting with all the things that he created, you know? And people may want to look at me differently and talk about me because I read tarot. I'm very intuitive. I can't help the gifts that I was given and born with, okay? We were all given gifts for a reason. And I use my gifts in a healthy manner to help other people, not to tear, tear people down. I use my gifts for good. And that's why God continues to bless me. It will continue to bless me over and over again because I trust him every day of my life. And now I know why I had to go through because it brought me even closer to, to him. And he showed me, he's showing me every day. I will never leave you. I'm always here. We're always here. The angels are surrounding you. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, no matter what they say, no matter how much they talk about me. God knows my heart. God knows my heart and I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. I've cried so much that I don't even feel like I can cry again, you know. But I'm gonna leave y'all with this. Cause this song has been on my heart and I'm not a singer look at that train coming through again distractions but God's still gonna get the glory out of my life always because of who you are I give you glory because of who you are because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day, y'all.